Hey guys here, this is like back to their Bakugan video. And this time we're taking a look at the Bakugan Armored Alliance Limited Edition set. So for those of you who don't remember, um, in the first kind of like year or two of Bakugan, um, they had a limited edition set of a translucent uh, Dragonoid and Ultra Dragonoid that they had for prizes uh, for the tournaments and they sent out to the Baku Masters. Uh, that's what this guy is here. Uh, they can be doing the same thing for this new set, um, except it's now has focus on the battle gear. From what I've heard, there's only a thousand of the original one, and there's 1,500 of this one, so there's more in the wild of this one. But it's still really cool, and Spin Master sent this to me. Uh, I guess they still—I guess I'm still a Baku Master. I don't know if that whole like uh, program is still going on or not. Um, I haven't heard anything about it in a while. But they sent it to me a couple of about a week ago at this point. I haven't been able to make a video until now. So, uh, thank you, Spin Master, obviously, for sending this to me. And I, I've already looked inside. I haven't peeked much into it because I don't want to mess with it too much. But this is really, really cool. So it comes in the same little cardboard design like last time. Uh, the cardboard slipcase with a nice foil cover. Let me pull that off. Let's see the <laughs> blowing out my camera shiny logo there. Put that on the back. And then when we open it up... Look at that. So I'm going to take this little protective cover off. I'm not going to mess with these too much because I don't want to mess up with this. I don't want to mess up anything, but I will show them to you. So at the top we have a special foil Dragonoid Ultra character card. Super shiny and awesome looking. And on the left we have the Magma Blaster Baku Gear card. When I got mine, everything's kind of jostled from shipping, and so I think this is actually supposed to be the other way around, so the Dragonoid is behind Dragonoid. Uh, but I didn't want to pull them all the way out and switch them around, so I just pushed them in there like that. Uh, but they're both you know, foil with the gold text. It looks so cool. And I love the shiny uh, Pyrus symbol there. And then down here we have the Translucent Dragonoid Ultra and the Translucent uh, Magma Blaster with his two little swords. And also two shiny foil uh, cores. Which I will never use in the game because I would hate to scratch these up. Uh, but there's a 300 shield and a 5 damage red fist. So let me just put those back in there. And never touch those again. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I'm... I'm not gonna... Uh, maybe I'll transform him. I'm thinking about it. But here is the Dragonoid. I don't have a regular Dragonoid from Art Alliance yet, so he's the only one I have right now. His Pyrus symbol is actually painted gold, which is something I've noticed with the with the diamonds, with these diamonds I haven't opened yet. Uh, their symbols are painted shiny metallic, which is really awesome. But the, the, he's, he's mainly like translucent orange, not really translucent red. Kind of a frosted orange. And all of his paint is metallic, as you can see, which looks really cool. He's got his feet down here. And his arms. Oh yeah, his arms go out like that. You can tell I haven't messed with this much. And there's this really, really loose, really loose horn. There you go. This is 900 power, which is really good. His claws all shiny looks so cool and then the magma blaster this one I could transform this is not too complicated but the really awesome shiny metallic gold paint on it looks really good and then if we bring Drago back in we can find the arrow <laughs> it's always on these and whoops there he goes. Knocked his horn down. There you go. <laughs> Big ol' Magma Blaster. That looks so... So cool. Oh, does wings open more? Oh, they do! I didn't realize that. There you go. We got wings. Oh, I am just so in love with this. Set this back in here. Yeah, I think that was packaged like that, actually, with, it's not, with it not fully out. I didn't realize. Okay, fine. I'm going to transform him once. 
just just for the video's sake. And I can show it on camera. I'm gonna do it off camera so I don't mess it up. All right, here he is. That is a very, very pretty marble. <laughs> shiny, shiny, like fire truck candy red, translucent orange. All that metallic paint. That is very, very cool. I'm not gonna roll them. I only have my hardwood floor right now. Um, I'll pop them open on this core here. There you go. <laughs> it's the only time it's gonna happen. So let's just put him back in his home. Go back in your home. There you go. All right, and I'm gonna leave that video there. Um, this is amazing. I don't want to plug in this little baku here. I don't want to damage anything. Uh, but thank you again, SpinBass, for sending me this. I'm glad you guys are still doing this. I, I'm so happy with the future of Bakugan. It looks so good, and I can't wait to see what's coming out. Uh, I have a lot more Bakugan videos on the way. I've got one, two, three, four, five things in front of me right now to open. So a lot more videos coming soon. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, questions or comments, as always, let me know. And that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice day.